Hey y'all, it's Farmer Meemaw. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Fall Food Month. Um, y'all, so they say the higher the ponytail, the crazier the woman. And things are starting to get crazy around here, y'all, because I've noticed my ponytail keeps getting higher and higher. But I think part of that's because I keep getting hotter and hotter and I just need it up out of my way and all of that. So anyway, and so things have just like, when I say things have been crazy, it usually means things have been crazy up here lately. And I'm in the process of um, figuring out what I'm gonna do with all of the chicken that I have cooked lately. So I've recently cooked a lot of chicken in my crock pot and actually some of it in my instant pot because I didn't have enough crock pot space for all the chicken I bought that I was processing. And so now I have all of this chicken picked off the bone and then I have chicken broth because after I picked the chicken off the bone, I put the carcass back in my crock pot, one of my crock pots, and then made broth out of the chicken carcass, carcasses. Anyway, and so now I have a lot of recipes that I'm going to be bringing to you on how you can use, and in it you can use rotisserie chicken, you can use the chicken that you've picked off the bone, leftovers from, you know, if you roasted chicken and you have leftovers, and so I've got so many delicious recipes for using your chicken, and I've already given you several, um, here in just even this month um you know there's the chicken the chicken salad oh my gosh y'all and here's the problem that we're having now um and chicken pot pies or not well chicken pot pies one chicken and dumplings is one that i recently posted um but here's the problem we're having now um the things that i've made we really like and so we're wanting to have it again but I'm like, but I've already, I've already done a video of that. We've already done that. I need to, I need to make something new. And so if I'm making something new, we either risk everybody in the family not liking it because I'm in a family of picky eaters. I'm not actually a picky eater, but I like a lot of what I cook. Um, and speaking of chicken, this is some of the chicken, you guys, barbecue chicken. You just heat it up, put your favorite barbecue sauce on it in a saucepan and just stir it. And let me know in the comments below how you like the texture of your barbecue chicken or barbecue pork. Um, there is a place here actually, if you've ever seen Sling Blade, that was made in my hometown. Ooh, I smell that, I smell that barbecue chicken. Um, Sling Blade was actually shot in my hometown. And the place that it was called Gary's Drive-In back then, it used to be called the Whopper Burger. And then Burger King came along and bought out that name or paid them a lot of money to rename their facility um, because Burger King was promoting their Whopper Burger. And so anyway, um, so they changed it to Gary's Drive-In. And now it's called, I think it's called Gary's Sling Blade um, because they renamed it after the movie but anyway but that was just a recent change anyway the barbecue the barbecue sandwiches from that place um you could go in and dine inside they had a couple of booths inside but you could just drive up and go up to the window anyway so this was like the consistency it was just like like it was all one you know and if you scooped it out with a with a Cook, not a cookie scoop. Well, a cookie scoop or an ice cream scoop, it would maintain that shape. Because it's just like, can you, let me get my face out of the way. Can you see that? There you go. Mmm, it's so good, y'all. Anyway, I shouldn't eat this because it was not, it was not a sugar free, free barbecue. Um, had a few bites of it last night. Not a whole sandwich or anything like that. But anyway. What kind of texture do you like on a barbecue sandwich? Is, do you like it like this, where it's all just kind of one stringy clump? It doesn't sound tasty, but it is. Um, or do you like it in bigger chunks? Like, do you like a big chunk of meat just coated in sauce, or do you like it all mixed together? So anyway, 
This is one of the ways that we've been using some of the sauce. Today, I'm gonna make a different recipe for you. But to be honest, as I sit here, stand here, I don't even know what I'm gonna make because my brain, like I said, crazy, cuckoo, it's just all over the place, y'all. And so, um, I will try to put in the thing below exactly where the recipe starts so that you can jump to that if you want to because there's, I, it's just, just one of those days, y'all. I have a lot of things that I want to make and there are a couple of dishes that I need like my food processor. Oh, and that's another thing. My husband loved, I mentioned in my last video, he loved those granola bars. And so I need to make another batch for him and I'm going to try to tweak it a little bit to see if I can get them to stay together like an actual bar because some of those did actually stay together, some of it, um, into big chunks. Um, and so I'm going to see if I can make it work better this time. And um, I need my food processor, but I need to wash my food processor. And I also need my food processor for some other things um, for ricing some cauliflower for some other recipes. And so, I may just, hang on y'all, I, I just need to, I mean, I've already, y'all, I cleaned up. Let's just chat for a minute. Can we chat for a minute? Because it's, it looks like we already are. I, I drink one of these every morning after my coffee. Actually, I don't think I finished my coffee yet. I just got too hot for coffee and so I had to have a cold drink. Anyway, so, um, I just wiped down my stove. Oh, my ears mess. I just wiped down my stove. And I was, I was sitting here, I was trying to see if I could read, uh, this, y'all, okay. <laughs> I wrote a list of all of the dishes, the chicken dishes and other dishes that I'm wanting to cook in the coming days. And, um, I've discovered, let me show you, hang on. I got these at the Dollar Tree. You might've seen one of them in a recent haul. These are, they say that they're chalk riders, right? But they work fabulously on any kind of dry rice. And so, um, I had this really weird surface on the front of my refrigerator. It's not magnetic, but it's, it's, it's very, um, it's like a mirror. It's black and it acts as a mirror. And, and it's very flattering, by the way. It makes me look skinnier than I am. And anyway, so it's, it's, you can ride on it. Here, I will show you. Don't judge me though, because you will then see the reflection of the stuff that, well, you can see it anyway. <laughs> Do you see that? And so I've just written on it. It almost looks like a, like a menu. Can y'all hear Josie? She's walking around. You can hear her once she starts getting on the move. Here she comes through. Hey girl. Um, I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, there she goes. I was I shouldn't have said anything to her. She'll stay. Um, anytime I'm in the kitchen, she thinks I'm in here for her to make something for her or to feed her. But anyway, so, um, I've made a list, that was her shape. I've made a list of all of the things that I'm wanting to make. And you, you saw the list, it's, it's huge. And so, um, I don't, I don't know why I was telling you about that. I just, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, but what I was telling you, so I was standing here, um, that's, the house. I remember why I was telling you about the, the writing on the, on the refrigerator. I was standing here trying to figure out, okay, well, if I'm sitting here, can I read those from over there? And I had this in my hand and I got to sit it down and I set it down on the edge. Here she comes again. I set it down on the edge and it spills on my just cleaned stove. Down the burner. I don't even know if that burner is going to work anymore now. It, it, you have to light it already. It, it doesn't fully work now. But anyway, y'all. I think all these cooking videos, I love doing them, but I've really missed just talking to you. Can you tell? Um, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much for some of you that just want the recipe. Um, but I'm going to decide and I will, you'll be able to tell by the title what I decided on. Um, but I'm about to make some stuff. Um, but first I've got to, I've got to clean some stuff. I've got to get um, the chicken carcass now that I've gotten my, um, now that I've gotten my chicken broth, I need to take the chicken carcass mash out and feed it to my chickens and then wash that one because I have several things that I want to make in crock pots and look what I'm, what I'm going to do today, you guys. 
Um, actually, I've never used this crock, crock pot, this um, instant pot for anything other than an electric pressure cooker. Um, I've never used any of these other like soup, meat stew, poultry, um, rice. I've got a ricer. Um, there's a steam option. I've never steamed. And today, what slow cooker? I'm actually going to use this slow cooker because this is this is smaller than my slow cookers. Obviously, you know my slow cookers are a lot bigger than this. And so I figured because I'm wanting to make some smaller dishes. Oh, you guys, it is not just about chicken. Oh my goodness, no, it's not just about chicken. I've got some breakfast slash dessert type things coming too. Um, so anyway, but first, I'm gonna clean up a little because I think that's what's giving me a mental block. Do you ever have a mental block when like something is not just right or something is not clean? Like y'all, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need the exact things right now that I'm like focusing on. It's like I can't do anything until that's clean. I just can't, I can't do anything until that's clean. And so whenever I get into a place like that, I just have to get that stuff done. And then we can get started. today because I'm hungry and I know my kids will eat these because they are delicious now um, the first and, and this is going to be keto friendly and so the first thing I've got to do is make my breadcrumbs and you can use if you don't want to do this keto then you can use regular breadcrumbs you can also um I'm just going to do this whole thing y'all because whoops well I say I am um this is only five ounces you can actually um, buy something called pork panko and it's ground up pork rinds. And um, I think it's, I really think it's worth it. it. They're kind of expensive. They are kind of expensive, but this is only five ounces and you buy it by the pound. And so depending on how much you buy your things for, if they're $2, that's already $6 for 15 ounces. Um, so let's That doesn't take very long at all, does it? Puree and mix. And let's, let's. pour these out and I'm just gonna put them oh they smell like pork rinds you know 
pork rinds are one of those things that they stink, but they taste good. You just have to get past the smell. All right, now. Look, y'all, I'm remembering to put this part back in because, you know, if you saw me last time, I didn't do that. So, okay. So, here are my pork rinds. And I'm going to put just salt, pepper, garlic. Where's my little salt, pepper, garlic? Here it is. Um, You want to, like, layer? You want to season every layer. So, we're going to put salt, pepper, garlic, which is mostly salt right now. We need to make some new. All right. And so, we're just going to kind of season up my bread crumbs. Okay. This is what they look like when they're done. You can see them. Okay. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I need some chicken, y'all. And I probably need about four pounds. Not four pounds. No, 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 no. Four cups. Um, and this is, y'all, this is my chicken. Um, and... I'm going to shred it up a little bit. I, I don't want big chunks like that. And since my... Since my food processor is already dirty from the pork rinds, I mean, I could do this. I could sit here and pick it apart in my hand. I could use the stand mixer. I could leave them in big chunks if I wanted to. But um, this chicken is probably going to be a little bit dry. And so I want to shred it up so that, that my moisture, like my mayonnaise, can get all up in there. Okay? Because I want these to be moist. I don't want to know. Nobody wants dry chicken, y'all. And I make, I am, if I'm an expert at making anything, it's dry chicken. If you got a secret for how to not make dry chicken, let me know. I know overcooking it is, is a thing. Let's see here. I'm not, I don't even know how many patties I'm going to make, y'all. Um, but I think this, this might be about enough. Let me whirl it up. Let me whirl it up a little bit, y'all, and then we'll measure it. I'll put it in a cup so I know exactly how much I have, okay? So let me put this back up. Do you see what I mean when I say I got a lot of chicken that I need to make stuff with? Where's the lid? What do I do with the lid? All right, let me put this up a little bit. Got my measuring cup out. You know, I, I don't want something like canned ham that spread. I don't want that. Ooh, that would be good, y'all. Hmm, I might, I might need another break out of the recipe. Well, some of it's kind of bigger, but let's see how much we got. I was aiming for about four cups. Let's see what we got. Well, I be dad gum. I think, y'all. I mean, really. That looks. Can you? Hmm, looks pretty close to four. Four cups to me. So we're gonna call that four cups. All right. So to this, we're gonna add four cups of chopped up chicken. About a cup and a half of mozzarella. Yes, that was pre-shredded, y'all. That was what they had on sale. Um, and so we're going to add in some... That was a big old chunk. I'm going to pinch that one up a little bit. All right. Now, I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Oh, there's another big chunk. Let's just rip it up a little bit. All right. Now we're going to we're gonna add our seasoning. We're going to do a pinch of salt. Y'all know my house seasoning. Whoop, I'm not going to do it that way. Y'all know my house seasoning is salt, pepper, garlic. Everything. Alright, there's some pepper. Ooh, loud. Garlic. I need some onion. You could probably slice up an onion and put in here, which would be delicious. Um, I know I've got onion somewhere. Got onion. Get a little, whoop, that's good. Alright, now we're going to add our binders. We're going to add two eggs. And look, if your chicken is dry like mine, you might need extra moisture. Okay? And so, hang on. Let me... There. Okay, there's my eggs. 
Let me wash my hands. Okay, can you still see? Did I knock you away? Okay. Now, there's this. I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna stir up my hand anymore, just you know. For now anyway. Now to this, I'm going to add about a cup of mayonnaise. And look, if you need more or less, you can add more or less. Alright? But I know, I know mine's going to be dry. <laughs> so I'm preparing for some dry chicken. And I guess this, is, this could also be a recipe for what to do with your dry chicken. Because if you, you know, you can also add yogurt if you want. That's fine too. I'm just sitting here using up all of our mayonnaise. <laughs> Hope we're not needing mayonnaise tonight for a second. No, we're not. Okay. And so about a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And, and we're also going to put in some other binder as well. So now I'm going to add, for my binder, I'm going to add a quarter cup about a quarter cup of almond flour and to make this even healthier and this also helps as a binder um flaxseed i'm going to put in a quarter cup flaxseed there we go flaxseed will thicken it and it also helps bond. It acts like an egg substitute. So now let's let's get this stirred up. Now at this point, you can also add um, other seasonings. I think I'm gonna add a little. I'm adding a little Cajun seasoning to ours, y'all. We love this stuff. Mm, that smells good. It smells like fish to me because that's how we that's how we season our fish. All right. So now that we have this mixed together, let me make sure let me make sure I didn't leave anything out, y'all. Y'all know me. I am always leaving stuff out. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, and I did get okay. Look, this is some half and half. This is how much? A quarter cup. I'm gonna add just a little bit, and the only reason I'm adding this is because those flax seeds will suck up the moisture. Okay, and I'm only gonna put like half of it. And you know what I'm gonna do, y'all? Here we go. I'm just gonna do it all. One quarter cup, because I know those flax seeds, y'all, are gonna suck it up, and I do not want dry chicken patties. Although, even if they turned out dry, you know what we can do? We can just add butter. Dip them in, oh, dip them in butter, y'all. Oh my goodness. Or some other kind of, oh, it looks like they're going to be good, right? Um, yeah, I could probably form them into little dough balls now. Um, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them chill and thicken and all that good stuff. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. All right. And then I'll be back. Let me taste. Let me taste. It's all, well, it's, oh well. It's all cooked except the eggs. Mmm. Those are good. That's good. All right. Seasonings are on point. I'm just wondering if I should put a little more mayonnaise. Let me taste it again and think about moisture. That's good. All right. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. Actually, it's been a little more than that. And I am going to start making my patties. Um, Y'all, I'm not going to scoop them out to make it sure that they're all the same size or anything like that. Um, and look, you see this? This is actually, y'all, this is a roaster lid um, that I got from uh, Bass Pro. It's kind of a, a bit of a compromise. So I was wanting a big skillet or griddle that went across two burners and my husband was like, no, we don't have any room to store it. And so I got a roaster instead. And the roaster 
has a lid that doubles as a griddle. And so I still got my little griddle grill thing. Okay, so I was a little bit hasty and put it on there before it was really hot enough. So I'm gonna try another one now. Um, I'm not worried about making them all the same size right now. I just wanna get them made. Um, sometimes we just have to do what's the easiest thing to do. I'm putting them down in my, my little um, pork panko. A little breadcrumbs made out of pork rinds here that I that I seasoned. And now I'm gonna start putting these in here. Hmm. I'm gonna turn it up to a four on these. And really all we're wanting to do is get the eggs cooked a little bit, get them warm through, and let the you know we want it to be a, the a cheese to get melty. Oh, and you can make these with cheddar. I'm actually cooking these in lard getting a little getting a little ahead of myself i guess i could just be making these and not putting them on the griddle yet i'll do that i'll make more and just i'll put them on my little lid get my lid make sure my lid is nice and far away from where i'm cooking And the pork rinds stick to this really nicely. We'll see how many I get. I have no idea how many I'll get. But if these turn out well, I'm going to make a big batch of them because I have all of that chicken. And I also have a ton of shredded mozzarella um, because of when it was on sale and all they had was the pre-shredded stuff. And so I've got a ton of that that needs to be used up. I keep every one I make, I think I get it a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, it looks like those are starting to cook. You can make them as flat or as fat as you want. I'm making them about the size of a hamburger patty. Um, if you want them to go further, you can make them smaller. Or if you want them for little kids, you can make them small. Why did I set that one there after I said I wasn't going to do that? Um... And you kind of want it to cook a little bit in grease. And one of these, I'm actually I'm gonna put some more lard over here. Put a little bit of over here. Um, I am I'm going to one of them. I'm going to try cooking in the air fryer and see how it turns out. I think it will turn out great, but I want to try pan frying. You can tell by the way that grease slides to the front that my stove is uneven. My stove needs to be leveled out a little bit. Oh, I made a great big one again, y'all. <laughs> I hope I hope my husband likes them because I'm making them for him, I guess. So there's eight, nine, ten. You should probably get closer to twelve. Um, they're probably supposed to be more like that size, but oh well, we're good. I am not great at flipping things, and so. Oh yeah, I think this one is definitely ready to flip. <laughs> I told you I'm not great. They're kind of like salmon patties, but with chicken. I'm going to go back and tell my husband that I really do need that great big grill. Ooh, I just saw some stringy cheese, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's try these. These stuck because I don't have enough grease. You can make these with cheddar. Did I tell you that already? <laughs> so that's how many? One, two, three, four, five. And I got six up here. Let's see if this one is ready. Nah, not totally. But don't they look good though? Let me give you a plate to put them on when they're done. But I am gonna, I'm gonna tilt it back a little bit. Let some of that grease flow back there. Maybe those will cook a little better. I think this one is gonna be ready. Yep, oh look at this one y'all. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put that one there. 
Okay, yeah. This one's already like gorgeous. Six more lard over here. I turn the fire down a little bit. Oh no, that's not good. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me just do this away. You know, because I know what I'm doing. No, nope, not, not, not really. Well, those are cooking. Let's, is it? Let's go ahead and do a taste test. Can you see it? Let's break it. We're going to break it open. Oh, you guys. You see the cheese? this not be good I hot oh my all right y'all mm -mm. mm -mm. oh oh yeah oh my word all right y'all I gotta get these flipped so I don't ruin them oh they're good oh my word um Mmm, that's so good, y'all. One, two, three, hut. Mmm. It's almost kind of a cross between a salmon patty and a cheese stick, like a mozzarella stick. It's not. That's so good. Oh yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is so good, y'all. So this made six, it made 11. Could have made 12. You guys. This is the best recipe I've made in a while. And the cool thing is, y'all you know, just made it up as I went. <laughs> I, I watched a bunch of recipes, um, reg, like regular ones and then keto options, and I didn't follow any of them, but I made it, and it's delicious. I told y'all, that's why I always make, that's why I always show y'all the first time I make something. <laughs> that way, I have video proof of how I made it. So I can go back and watch it and figure out how to do that. What I am going to say is my husband better come home early or on time. I don't know. Soon. Because you guys, I can see myself sitting down and eating all of these if we don't sit down and eat them as a meal. It's so cheesy. I might eat that other little one right there. Because <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mouth is watering so bad. I am, um, I'm gonna have to make some more of these and put them in the freezer. That's all, that is all there is to it, y'all. It is so good. So, anyway, I'm gonna stop there. Y'all don't need to hear me keep talking about these. I'm gonna finish these up and try not to eat any more of them, y'all. Oh my Lord, they're so good. So anyway, I love you guys. And if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe um you don't want to miss anything things just keep getting better i love you all and i will talk to you soon bye y'all